Team Awesome, how the hell are ya? I'm fabulous, thanks for asking. Anyways, so this week's video is going to be pretty cool. Um, I got inspired to make this video by a photo I found on Facebook randomly. So I thought I would recreate that photo somewhat-ish and make it my own version of it. So yeah, let's just get right to it. So obviously this photo here, as you notice, is a picture of Megan Trainer, who by the way guys, if you don't know who she is, you are living under a rock and you need to go check her out. She's pretty cool, pretty awesome, has pretty much got two big hit songs out right now. So check her out on Vivo, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media things you can think of. She's there. So yeah. Um, anyway, so let's just get right to this tutorial and stop blabbing about Megan Trainer. <laughs> okay, so basically I have to open this photo. I got rid of the background. Um, and for those that are for those that don't know how to get rid of a background, it's pretty simple. I've made videos about it before, so go check those out. Um, but yeah, delete your background of your image that you're choosing. And then go ahead over here and grab a lovely rectangle shape tool. Um, and I've made three rectangles, um, all vertical by the way, in case you're wondering, not horizontal. Um, first rectangle I made is kind of a pinkish red hue. Um, and you can choose various colors if you like. I'm only doing three rectangles, but if you have a bigger image and you want to do four, go for it. I don't really care. It's your image. Do it like you want. But for me, I think three look fine. So make three rectangles, all three different colors. So I made a kind of a reddish pink, yellowish green, and a very aqua blue. I like that. Okay, now take your main image that you have here, and you're going to duplicate it twice. So you have one on each rectangle. Okay, sweet. Now I've already done that, but I've added some cool effects to those layers. So once you have yours duplicated, mine are, you're going to then make your layers to Lumosity. That way they blend in with the color hue of your choice. Really awesome. Alright, sweet. That looks pretty cool, but we're not done, I promise. Go ahead and grab the lovely shape tool, rectangle tool, yet again. And this time make a rectangle that's slightly smaller, but this time horizontal. Just across the image, something like that. And you want to make sure it's set to black as your color. And then on my shape layer, I've chosen 32% for the opacity, and you'll see why momentarily. So, yep, that's the size I chose, and place it wherever you like, um, yeah. Alright, now go over here to your type tool, and grab a rather bold, like maybe rounded font, maybe Arial. If you have Arial bold, um, rounded in your, um, selection, which some people do and some don't, I'm not sure how that works, but sometimes computers can already have Arial bolded in there, mine did for some reason. So I have Arial rounded black bold. Um, and I like that, but um, because I'm a cool cat and I already have this really cool um, font in my computer called Instaburger or Insanburger, I don't know. Anyway, it's in my computer, so I chose that font. I liked it. Um, I mean, you can probably find it on dafont.com. They have a lot of cool fonts on there, so if you want to find a cool rounded, bold, and font, go there. They got cool stuff. So use that because it's really awesome. And for me, because this is Megan Trainer, I chose to hashtag her song, Lips Are Moving. Boom. That's how it's done. Now, as you'll notice, I gradient-atized, <laughs> gradient-tized, new word, I made it up, it's a word now, gradient-tized, this lovely font. Double-click, gradient overlay. And I chose the three hues that I have for my background, because I thought that would be perfect and showcase this really nicely. So I chose the red, yellow, and blue colors. I chose blue. And I used linear with a 0% angle, and I reversed it so that the blue is over here, so that it goes backwards. Like, the blue's here. You get my drift, okay? I don't have to explain too much. But yeah, that's it. Click OK, and you are good to go. There's your cool little image. That can also be a cool promo image for your favorite artist, band member, or whatnot. Um, so yep, yeah, that's the tutorial. It's just a basic tutorial this week. I couldn't really think of anything really extravagant and awesome, which I know you probably were expecting, but yeah. And this probably could have been a back to basics tutorial. I know, I'm sorry guys, but you know, so yeah. 
Um, I hope you liked this video. I hope you liked the tutorial. hope it was fun and awesome for you. Um, check it out. Try it out. Post it on Facebook, uh, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr. I don't know. I'm everywhere you guys are, basically. Well, except for Instagram. I don't have an Instagram for this account because I don't really feel like I need an Instagram. So that's why I don't have one. But, I mean, if you guys want me to have an Instagram, I'll make one. But I just don't see the point. I think Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, and... Google Plus are good, and even art are good places for an artist like myself. So thanks for watching. I will catch you all later with a better tutorial, I promise. Hopefully. Okay, bye.